Hi guys, my name is Inzu, creator at InView. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the things you need to keep in mind when texturing in order to keep your products optimized. There are two parts, adjusting texture sizes and some tips on how to create quality textures. As for adjusting texture sizes, there are two principles to keep in mind. The first is to work within the power of two, and the second is to resize the textures appropriately depending on the size of the product. First things first, what does working within the power of two mean? Simply put, InView's 3D engine is optimized to work best when the textures are a variation of a very specific set of sizes. 512 by 512 is considered to be the best and the most basic texture size you can work with. You can also work with any variation of these numbers. Then what happens if you import a texture at a size that is not within the power of 2? Your texture is going to be automatically resized to its closest equivalent, which can ruin the quality of your resulting product. How about larger textures? Any texture that is larger than 512 by 512 is automatically resized after submission to be 256 by 256. This is done to make the textures load more quickly in-game. Just like what happens when your texture is not within the power of 2, this process can make your product look different than you intended. So, it's the best to work with textures that are the final size to begin with. Second, it's important to keep textures sized based on how large they appear on screen. Using large textures for products as small as a bracelet is inefficient. They will hardly ever be zoomed in so closely to fill the whole screen, so there's simply no need to use large textures for them. It will only lengthen the loading time unnecessarily. The same goes for objects your camera would never zoom in that closely, such as ceilings and floors. On a side note, another way to reduce the loading time is to use fewer textures. For example, as you can see here, I use the same texture for multiple parts of my furniture. This helps to load the product more quickly in-game. For the sake of efficiency, minimizing the size of textures is desirable. However, you don't want to use textures too small for large products, since this will obviously make your products look blurry and poor in quality. Moving on, here are some tips on how to create quality textures. First, you need to be careful when using photographic textures. Photos tend to have higher contrast and shadows that often contradict the illusion you intend to achieve. In this example, you can see that the stones appear to be casting shadows in several different directions, making the product look unrealistic and less convincing. One way you can deal with it is to minimize contrast. If I do find something I like, I usually do a lot of work on it to reduce or eliminate harsh shadows. This is especially important for products with repeating textures such as floor tiles and cylinder-shaped objects. Here's an example. For this furniture, I use this metallic texture for its legs. But here's what it looked like originally. As you can see, it looked a lot more unnatural with a strong shadow on the right edge. By getting rid of it, I was able to make it seamless and more realistic. Aside from this, you should always be careful not to violate copyright issues when utilizing photos for your textures. And don't forget that branded iconography, meaning commercial logos, is not allowed for InView products.